What is up YouTube? It has been a crazy day. Well, it's still only 9.30, but so far it's been a crazy day. I'm on the hunt looking for items to sell online for a profit, buying stuff from yard sales. And I started off this morning, I left the house at like six o'clock, drove 45 minutes to a community yard sale. There were two sales, that kind of hurt. So I decided to drive 20 more minutes to another community yard sale. There were five sales, that one kind of hurt as well. I did make a pretty big score, but as I was leaving that community yard sale, I decided to take the back roads and just kind of freestyle it. So that's what I've been doing. And I've done pretty well. So this video ought to be pretty exciting. Check it out. And I'm still going. So maybe we find some more stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Morning, how are y'all? Doing, Doing well. Breeze is a little chilly coming through there. <laughs> Surprisingly. How much are your hats? A dollar. A dollar. How about golf clubs? They have all their prices on them. Oh, okay. Mm. Except the one I pick up, right? No, it's on the top. Um, oh, 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 okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm sorry. No, you're right. <laughs> We do a uh, bundle deal if I put a bunch of golf clubs? Uh, uh, Maybe. I think so, yeah. We'll see, we'll see what we can work out. How about that? I'm going to put these over here with that mixture then? Yes, sir. I know, more golf clubs, but honestly, you just got to buy what you can find. If you look at this garage sale, it was 4th of July decorations, palette art, or golf clubs. There was some good brands here like King Cobra, Odyssey, and ended up with eight golf clubs, well over $500 in value. I paid a hundred and I got the eight golf clubs, two hats, and I already sold half the golf clubs for over 200 bucks. So that's pretty good pickup. Not bad for one stop. Oh. Unfortunately, no cool DS games here, but this was just a random church sale that I just happened to be going by. I pulled in and all the clothes were a dollar. I probably should have spent a little more time looking, but I did end up getting this cool color block Brooks Brothers shirt. This Patagonia shirt and a Woolrich shirt. Two of the three I've already sold. And then finally I did get a pair of Vans. It's like cool zebra pattern. They only wanted $4 for them and they were basically new. So couldn't turn those down. And then I left there and not a mile down the road, there was a random cardboard sign that said a state sale. So I turned in and found a couple more things. What? I think I have this charger. It's the same charger that, um, what is it? Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. So I know, more golf clubs, I, I get it. But I promise this is it, or at least I think it is. I, I can't remember, but I only paid $60 for these. Got the Versa putter. I should get maybe 50 bucks for it. And then the TaylorMade Tour Burner irons. Those have already sold, sold in three days. And they sold for $235. So for a random stop beside the road, this was pretty good. And that's what I kept doing. I just basically kept hitting the back roads, seeing garage sale signs, found four or five. And most of them, it's high prices, didn't have much, nothing I could resell. Did find this one guy that gave me like a grocery bag full of Disney VHS. I don't really know why, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them, but they were free, so I took them. And then I actually found some decent video games at a garage sale for the first time in a long time. You said five a piece, right? Yeah, five a piece. I think I had seven of them. Let's make it eight, and then okay. 40 bucks. That works. That worked? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Oh yeah. Hope you sell out. One. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I probably paid too much at $5 a piece for Wii U games. I was thinking they would sell for around $20 or $30 a piece. They really don't sell for that much. I did find this Zelda game that sells for around $30, so that was pretty good. Still a decent profit here and hopefully a fast seller. How y'all doing? Pretty good, how's it Good. Five bucks on the hats? Yep. Got some cool ones in here. 
Yeah. Yeah. Found the treasure. <laughs> Where he hid it. That's right. Had that about 20 years. So I'm still at that sale loading stuff up and I just looked up some flatware that they had. It's Rogers Daffodil. That one sold for $194.53. They want $20 for it. It's like this big case. I can't find exact. But I mean, it looks like it sells pretty good. So yeah, I actually went back to that same yard sale and I'm glad I did because I met this cute older couple and we spent probably 20 minutes just chatting about life and NASCAR and all kinds of different things and they were just such a pleasure to meet so such nice people but I chatted with them so long that my GoPro apparently overheated and I lost all the footage but found some pretty cool stuff I did actually end up getting the flatware I paid $20 for it it's made by a company called 1847 Rogers Bros the pattern is daffodil it's a 60 piece set and a wooden case the case was not in great condition but it still sold in two days for 159 so that was definitely a good buy. Also, did you see those hats? Did you see the two Dale Earnhardt hats? Well, they were vintage dead stock with tags. I've got one of them listed because I'm doing them one at a time, and I've got it listed super high. There's definitely some sold comps there in the like $30 or $40 range, but those are pre-owned. I've got mine listed super high because it's new with tags. We'll see what happens. Also got a UPS truck, paid $5 for it. Probably shouldn't have bought it. It did sell for $25, had a broken mirror, might could have got a little bit more. I actually ended up getting two Rusty Wallace die-cast NASCAR cars. I started talking with the guy about NASCAR. He asked me who my favorite driver was, and as a kid, I used to love Rusty Wallace. So he actually went inside and brought me out two cars. I sold one of them. I'm probably going to keep the other one just because these people were so cool. Probably end up on that shelf back there. And then I also got a vintage Stanley plane. I thought it was new in the box, brought it home. It wasn't, but it had only been used like once. It basically looked brand new on the inside. It should sell for around 50 bucks something. I paid $5 for it. So this stop was actually really good. And I'm so glad that I went back for the second time. And speaking of going back for the second time, I actually went back on my way home to where all this started. To that first community yard sale that only had two sales. I just knew that maybe I was too early and there had to be more sales. But there were, there was one more and it was a lady in her driveway and she had a table and it had like three things on it. I, maybe she sold out, I don't know, but it just doesn't seem to be worth her time to be sitting out there with three things. But I left there and headed home and actually decided to stop at a Goodwill and found probably one of the strangest things that I've ever bought at Goodwill. Is that really a defibrillator right now? Seriously? I gotta look that up. No idea. Metroid like that. Ended up finding the model number and there's one that sold for 250, 50, 95. So I have no idea. But for four dollars, I think I'm gonna grab it. So yeah, I found a defibrillator at Goodwill. Time back. Shock. Shock delivered. And honestly, I don't know if I can legally sell this thing or if it's like prescription based or if there's a liability issue there. I'm not real sure. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. But I couldn't turn it down because who else can say they bought a defibrillator at Goodwill? Also found some random golf clubs, so that was pretty cool. And I know this video has been kind of all over the place, but that's kind of how my day went. I just kind of bounced around all over looking for garage sales and it turned out pretty well. It was definitely a profitable Saturday, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.